It's the month of Ramadan and I've been fasting for 21 days. That means no food or water during daylight hours. This is one of the five pillars of Islam, so Muslims must do it if they can. The whole point of fasting is so that you stop thinking about things like food and then you be a bit more spiritual. Fasting is supposed to teach us self-discipline and to remind us to think about other people around the world who are too poor to afford food. I'm always snacking on things and when you don't eat food, it just like makes you realise how other people feel when the people who don't have food. I don't have to fast until I'm a bit older, but this year I've been practising to show my devotion to God and my religion. When Ramadan falls in summer, the days are really long. This year we can't eat until nine o'clock at night. This is shorba. It's a soup from Algeria. My dad is it's from. Algeria? Yes, tradition. They always have shorba during Ramadan. OK, can you pass me the chicken, please? Thank you. We're going to put the bit. How many days have we fasted so far? something. Through all these days fasting, your stomach tends to shrink. And even though you feel, oh, we're going to eat this, I'm going to eat that, yeah. I can't wait for this, I can't wait for that, I can't really eat that much. When sun sets, it's time to break our fast. Allah. Ramadan falls on the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and lasts for around 30 days. It was during Ramadan all those years ago when the words of the holy book, the Quran, were first revealed by God. Ramadan isn't just about fasting. Many Muslims spend more time praying and reading the Quran and almost all try to give up bad habits. The end of Ramadan is marked with one of the most holy festivals of the year. It's currently half past one in the morning. I eat tomorrow, so we're excited for that. Bye. Oh. At Eid al-Fitr, Muslims all over the world get together to pray and party, like at these festivals in London. But Eid is also a time to reflect and feel close to God. So it's thanking God for having the strength to do the fast, thanking God for that opportunity, thanking God for his forgiveness, because forgiveness and salvation are things upon great acts of worship. It's something that we expect. The most profound form of gratitude to God is prayer. Right? So we begin our gratitude with prayer. <laughs> And the rest of the day, it's about family, you know, it's about eating lots of food, especially in the Idul Fitr, one after a month of hunger, right? Yeah.